How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and Apple has finally released iOS 18.0.1 which is the first update to iOS 18 and I do say finally because it took them a while and a lot of people are suffering and struggling with iOS 18.0 so today I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know what this is all about what it fixes what's new and of course why you should update right now let's dive in okay so ios 18.0.1 brings quite a few bug fixes and changes some of them specific to the newer iphone 16 and 16 pros but others relevant to everyone and i'm gonna start with those because those are the most important so number one the most important reason why you should update to ios 18.0.1 is because performance may have been impacted due to an issue with memory allocation on some iPhone models. What this means is before this update, so in iOS 18.0, the version most people are still in right now, we were having some problems with performance because of memory allocation. So, you know, RAM memory, right? So there was a problem allocating the RAM memory. Therefore, we were getting bad performance on some iPhone models and because of that not only your iPhone was a little bit slower than usual and a lot of people noticed that this was a bug and now with 18.0.1 it's fixed and not only that when performance is impacted by memory allocation by a problem like this it means that your battery also suffers from it you also have a direct impact in battery life so this teeny tiny change that Apple made and actually left all the way down on the release notes of iOS 18.0.1 actually does have a huge impact while using your iPhone normally. So that on its own is a huge, huge plus. Moving on, if you go ahead and open up the watch app, the Apple Watch app, right? And you tap on a watch face, for example, and you go ahead and tap on share at the top right hand corner, because let's say you wanna share this watch face with your friends or family members or something. And if you wanna do it via the messages app, you're gonna go ahead right in and fill in the to, right? So then you're gonna select who you wanna send this to. So let's do that. And as you go ahead and tap on send, sometimes this could cause your messages app to completely quit because you're doing this, specifically sharing a watch face with somebody else replying to a message. So this was a known bug in iOS 18.0, now fixed in 18.0.1. Another very annoying bug in iOS 18.0 actually has to do with the touch screen, your touch going completely unresponsive in certain circumstances. And I could definitely tell this on my keyboard. That's why it op I opened it up to show you. So it was so, so common that I was typing and then it just froze. The keys froze, the screen froze, everything froze completely. And this was so, so annoying. I was having this issue with so many apps and it was happening all the time, not just in certain circumstances. It was so, so, so common. Please keep in mind that Apple is saying that this was actually affecting just the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro models, but I can definitely tell from feedback from you guys that a lot of you guys were having this issue, not only on those iPhone models, but on older as well. So if your touch screen is suffering and going unresponsive every once in a while, this update will help you with that. And last but not least, in bug fixes and general improvements, we have an issue related to our camera. So if you open up your camera, you go to video, and then you go to macro, so when you are really, really, really close to the subject, right? And when you are in 4K with HDR turned off, so this is a very, very specific scenario, sometimes this could cause your camera to freeze. And this issue is specific to the iPhone 16 Pro series. So this is a very, very, very specific issue. That's why I left it for last. But if you're having this issue, if you suffer from it, 
Apple knew about this and they fixed it. And last but not least, I'm gonna talk about the security content. So the security updates themselves, not only the bugs that we were talking about, but what we actually don't see. And this actually is very, very important as well. And there were two very important security updates, as you can see. This one related to media session. This is not so common and not so relevant, so I'm gonna skip that. But I wanna talk about this passwords issue because this affects pretty much everyone, so every iPhone compatible with iOS 18. And what this could do, what could happen is a user saved passwords may be read aloud by voiceover. So you know the voiceover feature where uh, your iPhone reads what's on the screen and so on? Yeah, there was a malfunction, a problem that could actually cause voiceover to read your passwords allowed so uh, this is not really good for privacy is it so this was actually uh found by users and of course apple noticed and fixed they patched it in ios 18.0.1 and that's pretty much it guys this is ios 18.0.1 this is what apple is telling us that they fixed this is why they created this software update to fix those issues and in my opinion that very first bug fix that they issued related to performance and battery uh, related to memory allocation remember that on its own is already more than enough reason why you should update this version it will make your iPhone faster it will correct your battery and of course sometimes Apple won't even tell us other things that they are fixing with this software update so if you're having any type of issues with ios 18.0 i do recommend that you update this update is recommended for everyone that has updated to 18.0 it fixes issues it fixes problems it's the first update i'm sure apple fixes a lot of under the hood stuff as well that just went through on the very first ios 18.0 so it's super recommended go ahead and update right now and I'll see you on the next one as usual, guys. Bye-bye.